April 8th, 2024 was a dark day for many people, including Monster Hunter fans. And it wasn't just because of the solar eclipse. Like a calamity on its way to Earth looming above us, a lot of us who held meaning to online play were tasked to find a way to spend our final moments with our favorite games before Nintendo shut down 3DS and Wii U online services. Whether it was to complete a goal or to simply enjoy something one last time, folks wanted to make the most of their final moments, with games that meant a lot to them, myself included. I spent my remaining days playing and completing Monster Hunter games that were on the 3DS and Wii U, and towards the end, the final game I ended up playing and spending my last moments with was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for the 3DS. This game had an enormous amount of things to do, and I wanted to do as much as I possibly could before saying goodbye, but I ran into a problem. Let me set the stage. Throughout the final weeks, I was enjoying the game's online functionalities like playing with other people, exchanging guild cards, arm wrestling, and just generally hanging out. But there was one particular thing I was dead set on doing, a goal I needed to achieve. And that was getting my favorite Poogie outfit. And I'm not talking about the Poogie from the most recent game, of course. We can't really get outfits for him anymore. And we found that out the hard way. But in 4 Ultimate, you can find plenty of them. Once I got my favorite Poogie costume, I could go back to hunting online and saying my final goodbyes to the game. At this point, April 8th was only a couple days away. Time was ticking, but that was alright. How hard could finding one little outfit be? Those well-versed in 4 Ultimate know that you don't need to use any online functionalities whatsoever to obtain Poogie outfits, but regardless, it was an important personal goal that I wanted to reach on this new playthrough. How could I possibly enjoy frolicking around and hunting monsters with others when my Poogie was devoid of drip? Everyone mourns the death of something in different ways. My way was by collecting fashionable outfits for an escaped farm animal. There was one outfit I wanted more than anything else. It's an outfit so powerful, so incredible, I'm not even entirely sure how to pronounce it. The Devil Hog. Without a doubt, the most demonic looking Poogie outfit, completely changing his outward form. And why is this outfit so special? It's simple. The Devil Poogie can eat its own tail. Nah, I just really like how it looks. Unless? In regards to its name, we've been calling Devil Joe, Devil Joe for more than a decade now. Even the handler calls him Devil Joe. But the name of this outfit implies that Devil Joe is actually pronounced Devil Ho, which kinda makes sense to me. But then again, the Japanese name for Devil Joe is Ibiru Jo. Well, we're gonna stick to calling it the Devil Hog for now, since it sounds the least insane. Depending on what Monster Hunter game you're playing, there's different ways to obtain Poogie outfits. Some games you trade for them or unlock them through progression, and others, Poogie can find them for you. 4 Ultimate has this entire expedition system where you can get a wide variety of environments as you explore the land called the Everwood. I would say that its successor is the Guiding Lands in Iceborne. You'll be met with different biomes to explore, monsters to hunt, and treasures to find. There are also specific rest areas that may contain certain surprises. One of which could be a random palico that you could recruit and name to join your squadron, and the other being a certain distressed hog in need of help. Poogie is one clumsy pig. I don't know how this little fella ends up in all of these precarious situations. Sometimes he's stuck in a spider's web, dangling from a tree, drowning in water, submerged in land. One has to wonder what he's doing out here to end up in these situations. Nevertheless, I would not be so heartless as to leave him stranded. Out of the kindness of my heart, I save Poogie every time. It did help that I would be rewarded for my efforts. If you help a Poogie in a new outfit, you'll receive his current garb for your own Poogie. However, if you find a Poogie with an outfit you've already obtained, he'll simply burrow into the depths of hell and leave you an item that helps you fertilize your farms. you think it would be dung, but it's usually some sort of seed. Eventually, if you keep going on the same expeditions, you'll keep seeing the same Poogie outfit over and over. And that's usually a sign that you've gotten every outfit for the current expedition rank. You see, certain Poogie outfits are only available in their respective ranks. You'd have to be pretty far into the game to unlock the final one. As I was playing through the game, enjoying its wide variety of monsters and quests, I was unlocking these higher tiered expeditions, and in turn unlocking more incredible Poogie outfits. Just look at these exquisite designs. However, none of these were the specific outfit I was looking for. As marvelous and high fashion they were, these did not nearly match the power of the Devil Hog. Even G-Rank Expeditions did not contain the Devil Hog outfit. Then where could it be? After getting multiple duplicates even in G-Rank, I started wondering the same question. I realized I had every outfit, except for the ones that spawn in rare ecospheres. Rare ecospheres are expeditions that allow you to hunt special monsters, obtain rare variations of guild quests, as well as much better chances to find rare treasures and rewards. 
Whenever you complete a regular expedition, you'll increase your chances of getting a rare ecosphere for next time. If you finish by exiting through the final area, you receive a higher chance at increasing the rarity as well. There were four outfits that were locked to rare ecospheres. And before this stream, I already had one of them, and it was awesome. The Ludrith Jumpsuit, modeled after one of the swaggiest armor sets in the entire series. I completely understood why this would be a part of the four rare outfits of the apocalypse. I had three rare outfits left to obtain, and among them was the Devil Hog. However, the process for finding rare outfits wasn't as quick as I'd like it to be, which was a problem since I was on a tight schedule. I had to look for not only a rare ecosphere, but a rare ecosphere that also had a poogie encounter. In an incredible streak of bad luck, I went an entire hour of getting rare ecospheres that did not have a poogie spawn. Frustrated, I looked for further ways to optimize my search. My optimization began by eating a big yummy meal from the street cook. Eating the right meal will occasionally give me the feline ecologist skill, which will increase the amount of rarity I get from a single expedition. This cuts down time significantly since I'll be getting the rare spots more frequently. However, I was still incredibly unlucky. Even after maxing out my rare ecosphere chance faster with the food skill active, there was no way for me to guarantee a poogie spawn, and unfortunately my luck was not great. Eventually, my Poogie outfit drought finally ended with one of the coolest and rarest outfits out there, the Great Poogie. The Great Poogie you may recognize from Monster Hunter stories, but this Poogie debuted back in Monster Hunter DOS, exactly 47 years ago in 2006. If you have a keen eye, you can notice the Great Poogie hanging out with his good friend, His Immenseness, in the Elder Hall. Yes, this Poogie is often seen hanging out with the elite and strong political members of the guild. His immenseness wrestles Lao Shen Lung in his free time. Who knows what type of freaky shit he gets up to that we don't know about. By obtaining this specific outfit, I also get an award called the Great Poogie Ornament. Not to be confused with the Great Poogie Ornament, that's literally an ornament that you can have in your room in Moga Village in Monster Hunter Tri. Lastly, the Great Poogie has unique shiny drops. For some reason, whenever you find a Great Poogie outfit, you also get Yan Garuga parts. I'm sure there's a specific lore reason for this involving Monster Hunter Dose that I'm unaware of currently. Either way, I appreciate the goodies, Great Poogie, thank you. Well, this was all nice and everything, but this still wasn't the outfit I sought after. And time was ticking. Two outfits remained, one of which being my beloved Devil Hog. After a relatively short time, I got another new outfit, and this one was one of the cutest yet. It's called the Pink Frog, which is a very strange name for this outfit, because it indeed is not a frog at all. It's an axolotl, more commonly known as a pink mudkip. It also drops a rare account item, the Poogie Pearl. I don't know what exactly a Poogie Pearl is. Does he keep it around with him? Does he lay it like an egg, much like a wyvernian? I'm not sure, but these are questions for a different nut job video. The Poogie Pearl gives us a lot of caravan points though, since it's an account item, which is always a plus. Either way, obtaining the Pink Frog was a staggering victory for my peace of mind. I now have every single Poogie outfit aside from the Devil Hog. It's time to bring this home. But I was unaware of the delusion that would surmise trying to achieve this goal. Since I only got a few outfit repeats in my earlier attempts at searching for the Devil Hog, I was under the belief that I had a 1 in 4 chance of getting this outfit. 4 outfits, 25% chance for each, that makes sense, right? But after getting a pink frog, and another pink frog, and yet another, what became abundantly clear is the amount of time it would take for a single attempt for a chance to see a glimpse of this green pickle. I had to make sure I had the feline ecologist food skill, reset if I didn't, go into a G-rank expedition, walk all the way to the end, hang out with this old fart to get my ecology level to 5, floating monster heads, just so I could get a 100% chance to spawn a rare ecosphere. Once that was done, I would have to check to see if the guaranteed rare ecosphere would spawn a poogie, going to a high or low rank expedition to reset if he didn't, which he often did not, and once he did spawn in a rare ecosphere, run my ass all the way to where he resided just to see that the poogie in a precarious situation is not the one I'm looking for. This went on attempt after attempt, and hours were passing by, and the looming Nintendo calamity was getting closer and closer. Needless to say, I was doubting a lot of things about this entire process. Was there something special required in order to spawn this devil hog? After hours of searching, perhaps my mind deteriorated. I thought the most logical thing to do at this point was to purchase the Devil Joe book. In certain Monster Hunter games, you can buy information about monsters at the shop. This would tell you some neat details about them, and would let you know how many of that specific monster you've slain or captured. My favorite way to obtain this information was in Monster Hunter Tri, where instead of purchasing a book, you could point your Wiimote at the screen and drop the monster info into your Hunter Notes, like you're filling up a little Pokedex. And for Ultimate, you just gotta buy the book. 
I thought it would be funny to not purchase a single one of these books in this playthrough, but nothing was funny about only buying the Devil Joe book thinking it would somehow make the Deviled Hog appear. Because it didn't work. I got yet another great poogie, and another, and then was met with a pleasant surprise, a Ludrith jumpsuit, to add a little bit of variety to my despair. My mental downfall continued. I started thinking, maybe in order to get the Devil Hog to show up, I specifically needed to go on a G-rank rare ecosphere that spawned the Devil Joe. I mean, that would make sense, right? The outfit was based on a Devil Joe, so I had to face a Devil Joe to spawn it, surely. So I kept grinding and resetting, getting repeat outfit after repeat outfit until it finally appeared. A Savage Devil Joe showing up in my rare G-Rank expedition with a rare Ecosphere. And it had a Poogie spawn. It was time. I rushed into the expedition, beelining to the Poogie's location. On my way there, I saw the Devil Joe roaming without a care. That's when I knew this had to be the one. I made it to the Poogie area, anxious and excited at the mere possibility that this was finally going to be it. I run to him, and to my surprise, it was another repeat. I was crushed. I didn't know what to do anymore. Was I truly this unlucky? Or was there something I had yet to do to make this outfit appear? People in my chat were saying they had this outfit already and didn't even realize. Or that it wasn't difficult for them to obtain it at all. And that really got to me. And then I questioned myself again. Did I need to hunt a G-Rank Devil Joe or Savage Devil Joe to spawn him? Was that the final reason our hog won't come home? In between more duplicate outfits, I really couldn't get that thought out of my head. Did I hunt a G-Rank Devil Joe at all in this playthrough? Did I need to? The Devil Joe book we bought earlier doesn't distinguish which rank the monster was hunted or captured in, so I couldn't tell. And as I got more and more repeat outfits, that casted more doubt in my mind. I was going insane. Do I fold right now and hunt a G-Rank Devil Joe? Or do I continue on the off chance that it's just me being incredibly unlucky for the past five hours on this day? Was I willing to continue doing the same thing over and over when time is so precious? I decided to not stop my grind to hunt anything. I kept pushing forward. Or else this would have been all for naught. Some would call this the sunken poogie fallacy, but what those fools don't know is that 99% of gamblers quit before they hit it big, and my casino was this damned expedition. And at the edge of my sanity, hitting it big was exactly what I was about to do. Finally, after six hours, the devil hog was real. God, it's real! The one it's, it's real! No way! No way, dude! I'm free! Let's go! This creature was so mythical and was exuding so much aura and power that he didn't need saving, unlike the other poogies. He was just walking around, strutting his stuff, being fully aware of how much pain and suffering he gave onto me. But it was all worth it. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see Devil Joe Poogie eat his own tail. Must have been unlucky in that regard. However, I did obtain the Western Poogie Ball for acquiring every single one of the Poogie outfits, which is in fact a priceless artifact. And of course, actually having this devil hog is surreal. Watching Poogie lounge around as an allegedly tail-eating freak brings me great joy. Almost as much as being free from this grind. No matter where I go, the desire sensor lurks in the shadows to try and sink me into the depths of insanity. And once again, the indomitable Poogie spirit reigns supreme. Clear of all my goals now, the next day was spent playing 4 Ultimate online with friends and strangers to celebrate and say goodbye to the online servers. I had a lot of precious memories over the last 10 or so years with these games, and I'm glad I got to send it off in a way that was true to myself, with absolute buffoonery. This closes a chapter with Monster Hunter for a lot of us, but who knows what the future holds for these older games, and for what's yet to come. Thanks for going on this journey with me, to find the Devil Hog.